Welcome, Gabby, Eduardo. How are you doing? How are you doing, Gabby, Eduardo? Hi, good night. Good evening. Good evening, sorry. Good evening. How are you guys and girls? Hi. I'm fine. I'm very good. Hi. You good? All right. All right, guys. How was work? How was work today? How did they treat you? Everything well? Everything good? Yeah, everything good. What do, what do you guys do for a living? Do you, do you know what that question means? What do, what do you do for a living, uh, Edgar? In my case, I actually just study. You just study? All right. Yes. What about you, Edgar? What do you do for a living? Uh, I have a, a, a small store, like Tigo Money as well, and that. All right, so yeah, you're a store owner. Okay. What yeah. about you, Gabby? What do you do for a living? Oh, you work at a call center, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Um, okay, what about you, Raul? What do you do for a living? Nothing. All right, guys, let's get started, okay? <laughs> it's time, guys, so let's have fun. Today, guys, we are going to be um, going over passive voice, okay? So who's heard about passive voice before, guys? What is passive voice? You've never heard about passive voice? No, I, I never heard no. about that. All right. Me neither. That's why I was asking you. No, I'm kidding, guys. I'm going to teach you about passive voice, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> so, okay, so we have something called active voice. Have you ever heard about active voice? No? All right. Maybe maybe I remember some things, but in Spanish. Uh, okay. I, I don't know is, if it's the same. It actually is the same. Yes. What do you What do you What do you think? What do you remember from Spanish? What? All right. Well, so guys, uh, we'll talk about passive voice, and we'll learn the difference between passive and active voice as well. Okay. So we're gonna go over passive voice using by which is essential for learning passive voice, okay? So that's what we're gonna be talking about. All right, so who'd like to help me read? Who would like to help me read with their beautiful voice, guys? In this class, with the chat. Go ahead, go ahead, Edson. Okay, thank you. Uh, the passive, the passive voice, is a type of sentence construction in which the object of the sentence becomes the subject of the sentence. In other words, the thing or person that receives the action becomes the focus of the sentence rather than the thing or person that is performing the action. Good job. Thank you very much. Applause, guys, for helping me read. Welcome. Good job. Good job. All right. Excellent, sir. All right. By the way, pronunciation here, guys, is repeat construction. Repeat construction. 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 All right. All right. So it is, it is construction, right? Very good. Very good, guys. Hold on. Let me. Uh, that's great. Right. Very good. Okay. All right. So it's construct it's it's construction, right? So, anyways, uh, we were talking about the object becoming the subject, right? And vice versa. 
Okay, so well, let's see, guys, if you remember. Okay, what what is what is the subject, guys, of the sentence? What does the subject do? No. The mm. soyap. The soyap is the person uh, who do the action. The subject is a person who does the action. Very good. Okay. So good job. Okay. So not not a person, guys. It doesn't need to be a person. Okay. Right. So basically, it is the person. Thing, animal, etc. Right? Etc. That performs the action. Okay? All right, very good. So, for example, okay, let me show you my Picasso skills. Okay? So, let's say that you have, I don't know, um, you have this guy over here who is about. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call him uh, uh, Pilsen Everto, okay? Pilsen Everto, right? So Pilsen Everto, guys, is about to throw a ball, okay? Right. So he's gonna throw a ball, guys. Right. So this is Pilsen Everto, right? And he's gonna throw a ball to. I don't know. His girlfriend, right? And his girlfriend's name is. All right, here, his girlfriend's name is, you know, all right, the woman who factura, right? La mujer que factura, all right? Very good. So that's, <laughs> so that's, that's good. All right, so guys, who's going to perform the action? Who's going to throw the ball? Robert. Pilsen Alberto, right? All right, so Pilsen Alberto is going to throw the ball, right? So we can say, right, uh, we can we can, we can can construct the sentence, right? We can build the sentence here. So we can say Pilsen Alberto threw, throws the ball to Shakir, right? We're going to say Shakir. All right, very good. So here we can identify that the subject is what? Pilsen Alberto, right? Now, Pilsen Alberto, guys, which is the subject, can be two things. What are the two things that a subject can be? And I need you guys to learn this because otherwise you're going to get lost, okay? You may be like, oh, my God, I already know what a, what a subject is. Believe me, guys, you don't. <laughs> not not yet, but you're going to learn, okay? The subject is not this. Oh, it's Pilsen Alberto. No, guys. How do you know that something is a subject? Do you think? What what is this, guys? Beautiful. What is that? What is that in grammar? How do we call that? Adjective. Why? Why is it an adjective? Because it describes something. What is it describing? What is it beautiful describing right now? Is it describing something? No. No. In this case, it's now. Very, okay, so we can say beautiful. It's not. Beautiful it's now. is my, beautiful is beautiful, right? Because beautiful is my dog's name. See? In that case, guys, beautiful, beautiful, guys, is not an adjective, okay? In English, guys, in English, you have to remember, okay? What a word does, guys, determine what it is, okay? So what a word does in a sentence, right, determines what, what it is, okay? So beautiful is not an adjective. We don't know what, what it is unless we use it in a sentence, okay? So got it? That's the only way we know, guys, if, beauty, if beautiful is an adjective, okay? Why am I saying all this, all right? Because we let's go back to the example of Pilsen Alberto, right? We know that this is the subject of the sentence, okay? But what type of subject is it, guys? Within subjects, guys, we have 
we have something deep, right? That goes deeper. Subjects, guys, are divided into two things. What are they? We have two types of, we have two things that can be subjects. What are they? The, the ball. No, we have nouns, mm -hmm. right? Oh, it's mm -hmm. what we call in Spanish sustantivos, right? And we have- Pronouns. Nouns pronouns. and pronouns. Very pronouns. good, guys. Very good, right? And within pronouns, right? We have relative pronouns, right? We have personal pronouns, right? Personal, we have, um, we have, what are the type of pronouns, okay? Um, Determinant. Possessive pronouns, right? Object pronouns, et cetera, okay? So we have, so there are a lot of categories, okay? So what type of, what type of subject is this, guys? Wilson Alberto, what type of subject is it? This is a noun. It's a noun, exactly, okay? Now, very good, guys. So did you know, guys, that objects are the same as subjects? Did you know that? They can be, guys, nouns and pronouns, okay? So an object can be a noun and a pronoun. So what is the difference between an object? And by the way, do we have an object here? And I'm not talking about a physical object. I'm talking about a grammar object. The ball. Okay, very good, guys. So this, we know that this is the, the verb, right? So whatever mm -hmm. is the receiver of the action, and remember a verb is usually an action, right? Whatever is the receiver of the action is called an object, okay? So the ball in this case would be the object. Now, I told you, the an object, this is, it's basically you not know, the same as a subject. The only difference is that this is the receiver of the action. Okay. So now let me let me ask you something. And we have, you know, we have direct objects and indirect objects. We have a lot of things. Says, okay. But in this case, yes, okay, an object can be two things. What what are the two things that, that an object can be? Guys, you have the answer in front of you. What are the two things? No. Mm -mm. An object can be a noun. All right? Guys, write this down in your notebook, okay? I know some of you are like in your bed, guys. I don't know how you're going to learn like that, okay? All right? And these are, and they can be pronouns too, okay? So far, so good? So this is an object. And what type of knob of, of object? Um, okay. All right, it's a, it's a noun, right? The ball is a noun, okay? So anyways, so if I say, guys, uh, I'm gonna tell you something that your peers nada never tells you, okay? I love you, right? So your peers nada guy said, I love you, right? So can you find the subject here? Can you see what the subject is? The subject is I. The subject, you guys don't say soye. Soye is soy, soy a pango, right? Subject, subject. subject. It's really... All right, so this is, right? So this right here is the subject. Okay, whatever. And do we have an object? Yes or no? Do we you. have? The... You. Very good. You guys, right? You would be the object. Okay, very good. Now, what type of subject do we have here? It's a pronoun, right? What type of object do we have here? Pronoun. No. Pronoun. It's also a pronoun, right? No. So far, so good? Far, so good. All right. Uh, what about I washed? I washed it. You know, I watched. Um, I washed the sweater. The sweater, okay. I washed the sweater, okay. So, all right, so let's analyze this one right here. I think the font is way too big. Yeah, hold on. 
shrink it down a little bit. Okay, very good. All right, so here, guys. So I washed, I washed the sweater. So we know this is the subject, right? Where's the object? Do we have an object here? The sweater. 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 The sweater, right? This is the object. Okay, very good. All right, you're getting the point. All right. Now, guys, all of these examples are in active, right, voice, okay? This is what we call active voice, okay? Usually, guys, usually every single time that you see a, a regular sentence is in active voice, okay? When you start with a subject and then you follow the rest with whatever you want to say, right? It's in active voice, okay? That is what we call active voice, all right? Give, uh, Edgar, give me a sentence. Any sentence. Oh. Go ahead. Any sentence. Okay. Or anything. Just tell me anything. Okay. Uh, my brother is singing. Very good. I like the king. My brother, right? So let's go with uh my brother. Brother is singing. Very good. Active or passive, guys? Is this active or passive? Quick it's passive. Active. Active. It's active. 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 We have a subject, right? Um, a verb and the rest of the sentence, right? If we focus on the subject first, it's active. Okay. Very good. Um, let's see, Joanna, give me another sentence. Whatever you want. In the past, in the future, it doesn't matter. Just give me whatever sentence you want. I was play soccer. All right, so I was, I was playing scooter. soccer. I was playing soccer. Well, yeah, you can say I was playing soccer, right? Very good. Active or passive, guys? Passive. Very good. It's, no, this is active, guys. It's active. active. Yeah, it's, right? it's missing by. Subject, right? Right? It's not because it's missing by. You're going to see why, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Gavi, give me another example. Any sentence that you want. Tomorrow I'm going to buy um, a lipstick. I'm, okay. I'm going to buy some lipstick. Okay, very good. So you can say some lipsticks, right? Very good, okay? All right, guys. So guys, the focus here is my brother, I, and I am, right? I'm focusing on me, guys, right? Or your brother, okay? The focus is on the subject of the sentence, okay? That is why it's called active, okay? All right, these are examples of active voice. Now, uh, take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Who would like to help me read these examples? Just example, guys. Over here. What does it say? Me. The dog chased the cat. All right. The dog chased the cat. Right. Very good. Active or passive? It's active. 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 All right. Very good. All right. Hold on, guys. So, yes, it's active, right? Because the focus is on the dog, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the dog is the... What is the dog? Subject. 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 All right. Subject. And what is the receiver of the action? The cat. Hey. The, the cat, uh, right? So, the uh, cat uh, is the... The object. The, the, object. the, uh, the ob object. Repeat, object. The object. 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 Very good, okay? So now, uh, take a look at this. I'm going to show you an example of passive voice, okay? So, analyze this example, guys. So we have we have the, the cat, right? Which we said that this was the object, right? Jason. So the object, guys, is going to be in red, right? And the subject is going to be in blue, okay? <laughs> I want you to notice what happens here. Oh. Jesus. Bless you. Thank you, guys. Bless you. Bless you. So the cat, 
right? The cat was the object. And what happened to the cat now? It became... The cat, the cat sub, was chased became, by the dog. Yes. Was chased by the dog. By the dog. Yes. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Do my favor, guys. If you're not for if you're not talking, whenever you're not talking, I need you to mute yourselves, please, because I can hear the fetal lies, you know, la novela, TCS, right? I can hear everything in the background. So uh so mute yourself if you're not participating. All right, so guys, the object became the subject of the sentence, okay? All right, and then what happened to this? What happened to the subject? The subject now is here. You see? All right. So guys, now we're not focusing on the dog. We're focusing on the cat. And we're focusing, we're focusing on what happened to the cat. What happened to the cat, guys? Was chased. Was chased. It was chased, right? It was chased, right? And we're gonna use by. Okay. All right. So this is passive voice. You, it's not necessary for you to say by unless you want to specify to be really specific about who did it. But for the purpose of teaching you about these examples, right? These examples, I'm, uh, we're going to use by, okay? We're always going to use by this time, but it's not necessary all the time, okay? All right. So these are, this is an example, guys, of active voice, right? Versus passive voice, okay? All right, so what do we use it for, guys? Now, in real life, guys, are you are you gonna use passive voice or active voice when you're talking? What are you gonna use? Active voice. You're gonna use active voice, right? How, when do you use passive voice? When you're writing a paper, okay? When you see the news, for example, okay? That's when you're gonna use passive voice, all right? So um, let's have an example, guys, of uh, present, well, actually, guys, in the agenda, we have um, simple past, but we're gonna use present continuous, okay? Because you can use passive voice with every single tense, okay? So let's start with present continuous and let's start with, uh, with simple present too, okay? I want you to do something, guys. Let's start with simple present real quick. I'm not gonna teach you about simple present tenses, guys, because you should know them by now, but um, okay. I need you to. I need someone to give me a sentence in simple present. Give me three sentences in simple present, guys. Quickly, and don't say I. Right? Just I don't know. Talk about Cheyenne, Shakira. I don't know. Talk about someone else. My brother like to play the guitar every day. All right. So we have first example, right? Um, my brother likes to, likes play, the to play the guitar every day. Every day, very good. Example number two, guys. Go ahead. My, my mom sister. cooks delicious milk. My my mom what? My mom cooks, cooks delicious milk. Delicious meals. Okay, very good. Uh, number three. My sister playing video games. Uh, with me. My sister plays video games. Plays video games with me, right? Is playing video games is present continuous, okay? All right, guys. So I want you to do this exercise right now, okay? I want everybody to turn these sentences into passive voice, okay? All right. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna do the first one, and you do the other two, okay? So first of all, let's identify the subject and the object. In the first example, guys, what is the subject? Brother, my brother. My, my brother, brother, right? And what is the object? Guitar. The guitar. The guitar. Or likes to play the guitar. All right, the guitar, very good. The very guitar. good, okay. So now what I'm going to do, guys, notice that not every sentence will have a subject, an object, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch them around. All right. First of all, I'm going to start with the object. What is the object? The guitar, right? So the guitar, right? The guitar what? What is playing? 
All right. Now here we say, we said likes to play. Okay. We cannot use they, like here, guys. Okay. We have to change. We, ch we have to change this example. We cannot say likes to play, right? My brother plays. All right. My brother plays the guitar every day. Okay. And now we can turn this into passables. Now, the guitar is the guitar now playing. Okay. Playing. So I, I want you to notice something, guys. I want you to notice something, right? For simple present, guys. Yes, we're going to use the, the object of the sentence first, right? And this is going to be followed by mm -hmm. the verb be, okay? The verb be, exactly. It's not called the verb to be, guys. It's called the verb be, okay? All mm -hmm. right. It's going to be followed by the verb be. And then this is going to be followed by a past participle verb, okay? What is the past participle verb? Uh, verb, guys, is the third form of the verb. So in this case, Why? it's place, right? Play. Play. Sorry, what? The guitar was played. Played. Was played. Was played. Was played. Was played. Hey, hey, hold, hold, by your, my by my hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses, guys. Hold your horses, okay? Let me finish and then not because you're missing something, okay? All right. <laughs> and then you're going to use by, right? So we're going to use by here. Okay. And then you're gonna use what was the subject here, right? Uh, right. Um, so, you're gonna use, so you're gonna use in this case my brother. And my brother was the here, guys. You're gonna use what used to be the subject, okay? And what used to be the subject, my brother. Okay, so here's the example. And the guitar is I'm hold on. Uh, the, the guitar was played. The guitar here. Yes. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, is <laughs> I like you, I like I like I like your enthusiasm, guys. But hold your horses, okay? I was gonna say what you know, what used to be the object, okay? All right. So this is a structure. Use what used to be the object plus the verb be plus past participle plus by plus what used to be the subject. Okay. So if we do, if you follow that guy's structure, right, we're gonna say the guitar, right? The guitar. The guitar. Now here, here, here's a mistake. You're all saying what you're all saying was. It's not was, guys, because this is in the present. Is mm -hmm. right? Is is, is was. Played, no. very good. Played, played. by my brother. Played. Very good. Right by, very good. My brother. My brother. Right. My brother. And my then you brother. can add everything. Every day. Right? You can add that, but that's all right. Very good. The guitar is played by my brother every day. Okay, that's how we turn the first sentence. Okay, into passive voice. Okay, so. What is something that you cannot turn into passive, guys, if you do this? If you have two verbs together separated by two, like likes to, if you do this, likes to play, you cannot turn that into passive, okay? It needs to be one verb followed by an object, okay? Very good. So I want everybody, guys, to do this in your notebook. Please transform the other two, okay? Let's do that, guys. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. In your notebook, transform the other two.
All right. All right, well, some of you are sending your examples in the chat, which is okay. All right, but let's see what you got, guys. So I got... Uh, okay. Okay, I, I just saw your message, Ever. That would be good evening, teacher. You may see them right. Very good. Delicious meals. Now, if you use Liana Maria, if you use uh, meals, is is a meals is plural, right? So we should be saying are. Delicious oh. meals are cooked by my mom. Very good. Video games played with my sister. Now, video games. My sister plays video games with me, right? Video games are played by my sister with me. Video games are played by my sister and me. And me, that's that's even better, right? All right, video <laughs> games are played by my sister and me. Very good. Video games was video games are. Remember, guys, we're talking about simple present, right? So was it incorrect? Uh, and in other, if, even if it was in the past, it's where because it's plural, right? The video game is played by my miss sister and me, right? Not the video game, video games. The delicious meals. Not the delicious meals. You cannot use article the, the definite article that guys because we're not being specific about meals. We're talking about meals in general, right? Delicious meals are cooked. Teacher, I, I have a question. I have a Tell question me. for the activity. Tell me. Uh, why change the subject? Why, why do we change the subject? What do you mean? Yes, yes, because uh, we change the sentences. Why? We're changing the sentences. Yes. Why? I don't understand your question. We we are talking about active and passive voice, right? So, um, what we are saying is. I, I don't know if this answers your question, right? Let me let me see if I understand. Yeah, because right. because I don't understand this topic. Okay, all right. So I'll let your classmates answer this, okay? So I was saying, right? I was saying uh, that we have when we talk, we talk in active voice. An active voice, right? Active voice is what we use to talk in English every single day, right? We focus on the subject. Right, these are the subjects, right? Now, passive voice is used, if you're talking about the why, right? Passive voice is used to, to uh, is used in writing, for example. Have you seen the newspapers? Yes, I, I read the newspaper, but sometime. Okay, so usually the newspaper is written like this, okay? Um, geez, oh. You can say car crash, right? Car crash. Um, hold on. You can say bank was uh, stolen. No, not stolen, right? Bank was robbed by unknown suspects today, right? So see? When you are talking in real life, and keep sending me your examples, guys, okay? When you're talking in real life, hold on. Do you talk like this? And this is a question for you. Do, do you talk like this? Hold on. Bank, bank is uh, robbed by unknown people today. Is this how, how you talk in real life? Bank is robbery, be, you know people today. Bank is robbed by unknown people today. It, my question to you is, and to everybody, do you talk like this when you're speaking, guys, in real life, yes or no? No, right? No. We no. don't yes, talk I like this. I understand no. the sentence. Okay, yes, but we don't talk like this, okay? This is used in writing most of the times, right? Okay, like professional writing, like an article or a newspaper, okay? 
So the way we would say this, and this is called passive voice, right? So the way we would say this is what? We, can, we will say, hey, man, did you know uh, unknown people robbed a bank or, you know, robbed the bank today? We're not going to say the bank, right? Rob the bank, okay? Bank today, like this, okay? See? And this right here is called active voice. Okay? It's, it's like the notice of newspaper. Yes, it's like what you see in newspapers, but yes. In this case, the subject is the object. For exactly. example, bank. Exactly. So in this case, right, unknown people here, this is the subject, right? And then the bank, right, or bank, this was the object of the sentence, right? So in passive voice, we're not going to focus on unknown people because we're using unknown people here. This is our focus today, right? Focus. You know what a fo focus is? Focus, right? Ese es nuestro enfoque, right? But our focus this time around is not going to be, you know, people, right? It's going to be the bank. Estamos cambiando el enfoque. And now the, the focus is the bank, right? So bank is robbed by, we will we'll complete this sentence, okay? A bank, right? A bank is robbed by unknown people today, right? So then we're using the object, right? What was the object? as the focus of the sentence, all right? And that is the reason why we use passive voice, okay? Is that is that clear now? Did that answer your question? Uh, yes, it's clear for me because I understood the passive voice is like a notice of newspaper for get a, a attention for people. Exactly, exactly. Okay, I will study this topic because uh, for understand all. All right, very good. Yes, yes. It's uh, just just practice. You know, um, you have enough practice in. Well, you have you have a lot of practice in the platform, right? But yes, guys, that's basically what it is. Okay, so guys, keep sending me your examples. All right, and video games are played by my sister and me. The video game is paid. Okay, very good. So guys, what do you have in your notebook? Uh, volunteers, guys. So who wants to be my volunteer? Yeah, do you want to give me the example that you have in your notebook? Okay. My mom cooks delicious meals. Delicious meals are cooked by my mom. Very good job. That is perfect. Thank you very much. All the right, video just... games are played by my sister and me. Very good, video games are played, or the video games are played by my sister and me, very good. Well done, all right. Uh, yes, Edgar? Mm -hmm. Well, for example, for the second one, I write video games are played by my sister and I. Is correct? My sister and I. You you can't use an I here. You need to say by my sister and me. And the reason why is because this is working as the object of the sentence, right? And this, and you have to use an object pronoun, okay? Here, this is an object pronoun, okay? Object, we're not gonna go, well, I'm not gonna teach you about object pronouns, guys, because that's, not part of the agenda, but this is an object pronoun, okay? So you have to use an object pronoun and not a, a, and not a, um, a subject pronoun. A subject pronoun would be I, right? If you said, you know, my sister, right? My sister and I play video games. This is correct because this is a subject pronoun, right? See, subject, object, got it? All right, so that's that's why this example is incorrect, okay? But don't focus on that right now because that's another, that's a topic for another day, another level. Just know that if you use, if you use a pronoun here, you have to use an object pronoun, okay? 
So video games are played by my sister and me. Very good. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, Edgar, that's okay, right? Uh, who else, guys? Who else wants to share their example? Oh my God. All right, so I'm gonna choose, guys. I'm gonna choose because I'm gonna pick, you know, the last person to turn on the camera. That's gonna be my participant. Let's go. You got five seconds, guys. The last person to turn on the camera is gonna be my participant. I have a lot of people with the camera turned off. <laughs> All right. In el baño, right? Very good. All right, let's go with uh, with uh, iPhone de Alejandra. Whoever iPhone de Alejandra is, all right. Uh, do you want to share your example, iPhone de Alejandra? I don't know who iPhone de Alejandra is, guys. Let's go with Samuel Alvarez. Samuel Alvarez, do you have your example? All right. Let's go with Angel Alejandro. Angel, let's go Angel. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, can we say my sister and I were playing video games yesterday? Yes, you can say my sister and I were playing video games yesterday, but that would be past progressive, right? Which is fine. We're going to talk about that and how to turn that into past into passive voice, okay? All right, so I got four people who raised their hands right now, guys. So hold on. Uh, yes, uh, Irma? Go ahead, Irma. Thank you. Uh, um... My father cleans the car. Uh, the car is cleaning with my father. My father cleans, right? The car. Good job. And then you said this would be active, right? And then passive would be the car is cleaned by my father. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. All right. Uh, well done. Thank you so much, Irma. All right, uh, then we have Alex Faye. Alex Faye? Yes, sir, go ahead. Uh, I, ha I have a question. In this case, then the video game is played by my sister and me. You use the verb to be in present and the other verb in past, always. Is it going to be like that? The other verb is not in past, it's in past participle. Um, so, yeah, you use it in past participle. Okay, this right here, guys is past participle okay do you know what a past participle is guys a verb has three forms okay right it has the it's base like form the form of the verb yes let's say the sleep right and what is the past of sleep left now let's use another example because i need one that is very different okay let's use um, Swim, right? So we have swim, and the past is swim. swim, right? Swim. Swim. And what is the past participle? Swim. Swim, swim right? Swim. Very good. Okay, so this, you have to use this right here, guys, the third form of the verb, right? And these are for irregular verbs, right? But for, for irregular verbs, right? All right. The, the simple past form is the same past form, the, the past participle form, right? So clean, right? Clean. And then you have cleaned. And then the past participle is also cleaned. Got it? Got it. So you all, but you use the past participle form. Okay. All right. Any other question, guys? All right. Okay. So, all right. Now, let me show you another example here. So we have guys. Yesterday, yes, yesterday I cleaned the garden. 
Okay, so active words, right? Active would be yesterday I cleaned the garden, right? Good job. And what would be the passive voice? Uh, the garden was cleaned yesterday. The garden was cleaned yesterday. yesterday. By whom? By, by me. By me, right? See? Guys, I want you to notice that you cannot say by I here. See? The garden was cleaned by I because it's an object. You need to say by me. Okay? Very good. Good job. Any other example, guys? Do we have another example? Jose, Daniel, do we have another example? Um, me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, today, I cook a delicious lasagna. Um, the lasagna was cooked by me today. All right, very good, All right? Let's write that down. All right, so you said today I cooked lasagna like that? Today, I cooked lasagna? Yeah. All right, and then you said lasagna, right? Yeah. Was, was or is? No, it was. Okay, was. Now, we have not talked about simple past, but yeah, this is great. Was cooked, right, by me today. Lasagna was cooked by me today, right? Beautiful job, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to say this in Spanish, okay? ¿Quién, quién tiene 100% claro, guys? Claro como vodka Petrov con 3,000% de, alco de alcohol, right? ¿Quién tiene 100% claro, guys? Passive voice and simple present. Me, teacher. I just want... I. I just want to take some practice. All right. Yeah. We're going to have some. We're going to have, we're gonna have more practice, guys. Okay. We're going to have more practice. Okay. Now, before we leave, guys, I want everybody, guys, everybody to do one thing. Okay. I need, we're 24 people here. So I need 24 examples that you create. Okay. In passive voice. Solo passive voice. Necesito 24 ejemplos en passive voice. Okay. Un ejemplo por cada uno de ustedes, okay? Real quick, and I'm gonna ask you right now, like like this, guys, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna write them down here, okay? So real quick, let's start with uh, Alex Faya. Give me one example. Invent one right now. I wash my car today. My car was washed by me today. Was washed, okay? By it, me. Very good, but I need it in simple present, okay? Simple present. My car is, you can say is, is the simple present, right? My, my car, car is, is washed, washed the dishes by me. My, my car is washed by me today. All right. We, we shouldn't be using today in this case because that refers to the past. So it's okay if we say my car, my, my car, I know I forgot the car here. My car is washed <laughs> by me, right? Very good. Thank you very much. Edgar, give me one. Invent one right now. Go ahead. Okay. My wife is taking my was my wife is taking a rest. Okay. I just need the passive voice. Just the passive voice, guys. Okay. Oh. Uh, and it needs to be in simple present, not present progressive. Um my The book was written written by is, my sister. It is, it is. Present is present, is present. Okay. The book, the book is, is written by my, my sister. Good job. Thank you. All right. Good. Ever Portillo, let's go. Give me one, sir. Uh, the circuit. Circuit. Yeah. Is built by me. The circuit is built by me. Very good. All right. 
Uh, number four, go ahead. Uh, Raúl de Jesús. Raúl de Jesús, no? All right, got two people who raised their hands. Okay, uh, okay, here I am, teacher. Go ahead. Okay, uh, the house is cleaned by me. Cleaned by me, very good, good job. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Alex Faye, do you have a question? No, 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 sorry. No, we're good, all right, very good. <laughs> it's just that I saw your hand raised here. All right, uh, Irma Raquel. Mm -hmm. the, the guitar is played by, by my daughter. It's played by my daughter. Very good. Good job. All right. Excellent. Uh, Fernando, go ahead. Uh, the car is fixed for me. The car is fixed, fixed by me. For me. By it's me. Correct. Not for me. All right, well, you can say the, me. the car The car is was fixed for me, right? That means that other people did it for you, right? But no, you need to use, if you did it right, you have to use by. Very good. Thank you, Fernando. Um, Yancy, let's go, Yancy. The message is sent by the teacher. The message, very good, is sent by the teacher. Very good, thank you. All right, uh, Edson. Uh, the boys played soccer. And what is the passive voice? Okay, the boys play soccer. That is, that is active, right? And what is the passive voice? Passive version of it. Soccer? Soccer? Is played by is played the boys, by right? The boys. Okay. Very good job. Good job, Thank right? You. Very good. Uh, Joanna. The dishes are washed by my sister. Are washed. Repeat washed. Washed. By my sister. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, right. Who else, guys? Who else? The what? The what here, I'm the sorry. House. The house? The house what? Is Paint. painted. Is painted, right? By, by my father. By my father. Very good. Good job, right? That's a good example. The house is painted by my father. Very good, right? Good job, uh, Yancy. Yes, Yancy. Me, teacher. Okay. Yes, Reina. Go ahead, Reina. Yes. Um, the um, the room was cleaned by my mother yesterday. That's a good example. If you're talking about the past, tomorrow we're gonna talk about the past. Tomorrow, right? But today we're gonna talk about uh, the person. Okay. Okay. And this is um, the room was cleaned by mother, <laughs> by my the room, mother. <laughs> the room is, 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 was, is, was, cleaned, is cleaned, cleaned. Ah, yeah. Um, by I my can, mother. Uh, I can a uh, question in Spanish, please. <laughs> I don't speak any English very well. <laughs> what is your question? Go ahead. Um, Cuando uh, se usa el, quiero ver, is, was, o solo se usa was, o solo se usa is. If you're talking in the present, you're going to use is uh -huh. or are, okay? Uh -huh. Is or, uh -huh. yes. Yes, is for singular and are for plural, right? And am, mm -hmm. if you're talking about yourself, okay? Uh -huh. If you're talking about the past, you're going to use was or where. Mm -hmm. For singular, you use was, and for plurals, you use where. But tomorrow we're gonna talk about the past, okay? okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the past. But in the present, that would be the room is cleaned by my mother. Okay. okay. Very good. Good good question, Rena. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right. So guys, 
All right. So uh, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow we are going to continue talking about passive voice in simple past. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to use was and where. Okay. Now, uh, did we understand the topic today, guys? Yes. Yes. Clear, so, clear. teacher, yes, uh, teacher. I, don't, yes. I don't understand the sentence because it is a present, what? It is Sim present, simple present, simple present simple both present. the sentences, it is in past. No, the sentences are in, in the present. The oh, sentences the verb, are still in the present. The verb are in past. Yes, the verb is, no, the verb is in the present and then you have the main verb turned into past participle. All right, if you wanna, if you wanna make your life easier, all right, passive voice is this, guys, active voice is this, okay? It's like saying, mm, yo toco la guitarra, eso es voz activa. Y la voz pasiva sería, la guitarra es tocada por mí. Por mí. Sí, dije, es tocada y... Y esto cada Fernando, ¿estoy hablando del pasado o estoy hablando del presente? Eh, estoy hablando del presente, right? Por eso. Exactly. Uh -huh. Y tocada es un verbo del pasado en español. ¿Sí? That's it. Esa es toda la ciencia. Right? In, in this topic is uh, passive voice. Yes, passive voice. Uh -huh. Okay, I will study this topic because I understand but a few. Yes, it's 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 because uh, just just practice a lot, right? If if something is hard, you know, practice many many times. Yes, tell me. But when we use an irregular verb, we need to use the base form or the past form. You need to use if it is an irregular verb, you will always need to use the past participle form. It doesn't matter if it is regular or irregular, guys. You're going to use uh, the past participle form. La forma del pasado participio, guys, es la tercera forma de un verbo. Esa forma se utiliza, ¿ok? En español es igual. Right? Right? Uh, you say... Uh, you say... Ir, ido, y he ido, right? Well, something like that. In Spanish is different, guys, ¿ok? Don't por ask ejemplo, how I don't teach Spanish. En español, por ejemplo, eh, yeah. la casa es construida. Construida en inglés, built es built con tecla. Exactly, yes. You in, should in, not be in, translating. In you should not be translating, but if it is easier for you to understand it in that way, yeah, you can do it in that way, right? But yes, see, you can say construida, and that doesn't mean that you're talking about the past, right? It's just the structure, guys. Just put it like this. It's the structure, okay? What you have to focus on, hey, why do we use passive voice? Guys, se usa passive voice para los periódicos, right? En los periódicos no dice, no dice, mm, no, no se dice, eh, oh, you hubo un accidente, right? They say, accidente, uh, ocurrido hoy, right? Something like that, got it? So it's like for writing, we use passive voice a lot, okay? All right, all right, very good. Guys, any other question before we, we hit the bed? All good? All right, so One guys, more question. tell me, tell me. One more question. Tell me, tell me. No more questions? No more, oh. yes, no more questions. Oh, I yes, thought you said you. one more question. All right, very it's good. clear. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then, guys. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, see you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. I see you tomorrow.